Hey guys, it's Chloe and I am here today with Vicki Ziegler, a top New York divorce attorney who has just written a book called The Premarital Planner. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having me. How does a divorce attorney go from being a divorce attorney to an author about why to get married? <laughs> People come to me at the, it's the last resort. I can't help them anymore. I can just help them get divorced. This book is going to help people stay happily married. What are some things in here that you tell people that they should know before they get married? Right. Well, number one, you have to be committed. Are you committed? Can you not live without this person? Are you getting married because you truly love the person? Or are you getting married because all your friends are getting married out there? Those are the questions that I really dig deep and ask everybody to answer. If I came to you and I said, I'm engaged, I'm getting married, mm -hmm. what are three things that you think are very important to discuss and look at? Okay, money, money, money. That's number one cause for divorce. I'm talking, what is your FICO score? What is your debt? There's a good chapter dedicated to everything about money. Some people want that Chanel account and then the Corvette account. Yeah. I think that's a good idea to keep your own money it's separate. Um, and then once you get married, you can put your money together. You can have a joint account and figure out who's going to pay the expenses and how much money is going to go into the account. Most people make different amounts of money. Some True. one the breadwinner, maybe one staying home with a child and you want to be fair. All right. So there's money. Number two, being emotionally ready is a really big question. I always ask people, people, would you marry yourself? But a lot of people say no. And, the, and if the answer to that question is no, you have to really think about why and you need to start working on those issues and challenges. Right. So those are the first two. Mm -hmm. Number three. Children. I hear all the time that people don't talk about babies and I'm shocked. Can you have children? Do you want children? How do you want to raise your children? Right. What, how, what kind of upbringing do you want to have? Not everybody does want to procreate and have a family. So it's something that you really need to think about. And I'm telling you things that are basic. Yeah. But guess what? People don't talk about them. And and this book is chock filled with all of those kind of tidbits of information that I think people need to take along with them when they're thinking about getting married. Something that I really loved in the book are the 10 marital commandments. Number five is honor the sanctity of marriage. I want to talk to you about mm -hmm. that. What do you mean by honor the sanctity of marriage? People really need to start thinking about this and taking it a little old school in the sense of marriage is important and it's something that you need to work on and that's what I mean by honoring the sanctity of marriage. What is the divorce rate right now in the United States? One out of two marriages fail. Second time marriages fail at a rate of 63%. They make the same mistakes. They completely, <gasps> right, they gravitate to the same types of people. They don't learn from their mistakes and there's no premarital planning. But if you're in love with somebody mm -hmm. and you have these conversations and you really just aren't agreeing on these things about money, about kids, I mean, do you, does that just mean don't marry that person? The potential of the red flags are there. Right. So maybe you need some therapy. Maybe you need to go to a financial expert and talk right. about these things. I mean, any any problem can be solved. Mm -hmm. But if you don't even deal with the problem before, you throw it under the rug, you know you have major problems ahead. And trust me, you work really hard. Nobody wants to pay divorce attorneys half their income, half their assets. It's really not fun. What about cohabitation before you get married? Do you think that that helps? Um, I believe that people should um, or if they want to, should live together before they get married. A lot of young couples are doing that, especially living in cities where they both are working and they're just not sure about getting married because they're not ready. That's a really important point. And then you also talk about same-sex marriage in here, which I think yeah. is a really cool aspect of this book. In my book, I talk about where you can and you can't, mm -hmm. describing the definitions of domestic partnerships and civil unions, the important points to talk about so everyone feels that they're being uh, considered. And for me, I'm a big equality person and I believe every Everyone should have the right um, to, to marry whomever they want. So it was important to put that in my book. And of course, since we're at Hollywood Life, we have to talk about celebrities. Kim Kardashian, of uh, you know, is someone that I can uh, think of right mm -hmm. now who had a 72-day marriage. Right. Um, what mistakes do you think that she made? She was rushing into marriage too quickly. They really didn't know each other. Mm -hmm. They had no idea about their backgrounds, where they were going to live. Kids, she wanted kids right away. He was so she not ready. Like her career. I mean, there were just so many things. So many things. I mean, everything. My checklist here was kind of they hit almost every point of what not to do and right. where my all of my clients fall into that category. Katy Perry's another one. Perhaps right. if she did a little more planning, it really may have turned out differently. Perhaps they would have had a long a long standing marriage or perhaps they would have never gotten married because right. they really didn't know each other as well. Thank so guys, you. if you haven't heard of this book yet and you don't own a copy and if you are engaged or know someone who's getting yes. married, you should definitely pick up the premarital planner and where can they find us? Uh, Barnes and Noble, absolutely in the stores, online barnesandnoble.com, amazon.com and my website vickiziegler.com. Guys, for all the latest news, gossip, style, beauty and more, keep coming back to hollywoodlife.com.